this OS was made by a guy in China I'm not going to be disclosing his name here but he's very popular and he decided to revolutionize the way people used to interact and use Android devices or Android operating systems he wanted to make a unique Android operating system with a unique experience and so he decided to make this it's based off sound chain mode so you're going to be receiving your updates from there not it's not a osb as almost all other rooms but off sound gen mode and to unlock it is very innovative you push it up there um you can see some stuttering because this is still the better it's not even a better this is an alpha so this is what the drawer looks like and you can see it's very sleek and different so different you can't recognize this is android that's what the uh, notification center looks like. You can see it has toggles, all quick toggles, it has brightness switch there. Easy. You can see it has a dock down here. You can actually hold an app and pull it down into the dock like that. And it's going to be docked. So when you want to customize like the home screen, this is what the home screen looks like. There are no widgets here. I don't know why they had to do it that way. Oh, that little app looks superb, it's beautiful. And so when you want to customize the home screen, no widgets here. One of those things that we love from Android about widgets. So you have to hit the option button. It's in the option button comes here. Then you hit this kind of stuff um, settings button hold that let's say if you want to drag some icons to one page you can drag everything like I tap on those and all of them can follow me and I drag them down there and get there very neat right like if I want to drag those let me say tap this tap this tap that Oops. then I pull them up let's say I take them down here, it shows me red, it means I can't. And here it's green, it means I can't. And then boom, there they are. Those are some neat things I really like to see in other rounds, but people don't do them. These are smart ideas these guys make on their own round. It's really buggy right now. Touch response isn't the best, but anyway, get the idea. You can also get the option, I think, to hide get the option to hide things like this it's going to hide it no one's going to ever know what it is and you can also lock it when you lock it no one can use the apps without your permission or your password okay so it's also it also has its own ways of customizing this is a clock app as you can see the apps flip and come to your face before launching and it's gonna be a bit slow this is not this can't be your daily driver please no one should install this as a daily driver it's just to show you guys what the OS is going to look like as when it's going to be finished you can even disable your capacity buttons down there and they're not more going to act you can do a lot of things with this ROM it's a different way Android wants to look and feel and you can see I was showing you the clock app this is what the clock app looks like it's very nice just a little bit copied from um looks a little bit like ios but it's not like that you can see the animations there this is all different all the different way of thinking about android they have a note app that's their note app the way it opens it's still very very slow because it's an alpha and if i pull this through you can see it's going to give me an option to delete it's in chinese you can put the ram in english if you want to i can delete by hitting that and it's deleted i can also just you can see somehow it's good it looks good if i dive into the settings here can see it's very very clean it's a different way of making an OS choose my languages and let me say that's English and everything now is in English as you guys knew 
we have our airplane mode at the top you can see all the settings down here it doesn't have a lot really right now it's based off android 4.2.2 as you can see here you can tap that to know the version but you can see it's a pre-alpha it's just the beginning of all of this it looks very very nice to the eyes i really like the way this thing looks and if those only way to port the theme it will be excellent it doesn't have so many different options from what the normal options are you can change application icons the way they made this os2 is like you can choose the made icon packs for almost all the icons on the play store and then you can choose which ones you want this is how it is when you receive an incoming call you either pull it down to answer or you swipe it up to reject the call i'm going to answer my call right now hello you can also see in the notification banner here when i get the notification and if i tap that again to the app it's really slow a bit to load okay there you go and i had a call here gives the location of the call which is something very handy to have very nice to have Contacts. I really hated the contacts on his presentation because it's just like a ripoff of iOS. I didn't really want this. It's so iOS like. I thought it was going to be innovative or something different, like the whole operating system is, but it isn't. And I like this animation, just look at it when I open, it flips out and I put it back. It goes back like a book. It's just that it's going to make it smoother. I can't go into the camera right now because it's kind of a mess. I think the camera app too is kind of a mess. But it looks just looks just so okay and bare bones right now. I can't really talk. What I'm going to say is, for those who like, yeah, there you see, so slow to take even a picture. For those who like skeuomorphism, this is like the best operating system for skeuomorphism. It really looks skeuomorphic. And there you go, I had a random reboot. Good that you guys are seeing this on camera. This is one of the most skeuomorphic I can say ROMs I've ever seen because it's really really skeuomorphic. It's like the most skeuomorphic ROM I've seen but it's nice. I like skeuomorphism. It isn't something bad. So I boot it up. Yep. Slide up to unlock. We're going to take a look at the lock screen. This is the lock screen. If I slide up from here, let me see. Yeah, there's to unlock. Slide up from here, opens up the phone. Slide up from here, opens up my messaging. Sliding up from here, has to open up my camera. Yeah. And as you can see that, okay. You can also swipe down and you have your notifications as usual. Oh my god. Okay. There you go. So there you have it. This is a look at Smart Season OS. Anyways, you have the idea. This is what Smart Season OS is all about. It's somehow, it's, it's not a bad ROM. I just hope it's going to get better in the future. I really hope it's going to get better in the future because this is it's very beautiful and it's a whole different idea of how I'm going to be. If you like the video, please comment, rate, subscribe, and stay tuned for more on my channel.